day today and I'm really, really excited. Obviously, we're gonna do some sort of a makeup tutorial because I have literally no makeup on at all. All right, so we have a really, really fun, fun tutorial today and this is going to be a Halloween look. And that is why I am dressed like a statue of marble because we're gonna do it next. Excuse my print, I'm gonna show you a picture but then Eddie's got a better one, but we're gonna do this. So this is my reference piece for when I'm doing it for you guys. But Eddie, pop it up there. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, so we had Carrie Reese and she did this cool look that she had seen um, on Facebook. And I was like, oh my gosh, Carrie, do you mind if I do it too? And she said it was fine. And so what we're gonna do is I'm going to turn myself into a marble statue and I'm gonna erupt from the marble statue. So without further ado, let's start working on this lady. Okay, so what I'm thinking, so uh, Eddie's gonna put on a little screen and screen for me so that I both I can see it and then you guys can kind of keep an eye on what I'm doing also. So what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna start with the actual makeup part. I'm gonna start with my eyes and then, P.S. I haven't even tried this. We're doing it together. We're just gonna see how it goes. Um, the cool thing, the, one of the reasons I thought this was so cool is because with the exception of white you know, like Halloween makeup, everything else we can do with Tori Bell Cosmetics. I was like, that is awesome. So what we're gonna do is start with the eye, and which you should always do anyway, because it's good to be able to clean up after you do your eyes, and then do your foundation, and then we'll do our foundation and our lip, and then we're gonna go into the rest of the, the fun part of the marble. And then, of course, I'm already dressed as a statue, so I need to remember to do it down my neck a little bit. But otherwise, I don't think this is gonna be that hard, really. I mean, I know how to do my makeup. How hard can it be to make some marble, right? So let's try it. All right, so for my eyes, I'm going to use our Stark Naked palette. And if you guys remember, we now have the Stark Naked palette in our cool new magnetic packaging, which is super fun. So you can move it around or you can, um, as we do more palettes, we'll package them all like this and you can put different stuff in them. So we're gonna use our Stark Naked and we're also gonna use Flat Earth, which you may notice all the time is like my super duper go-to. I love this palette a lot. All right, so. Let's take a look at this young lady. She definitely has some Nubian going on in there for sure. And I always like to start with the dark colors because like I've told you guys, um, let me grab a bunch of brushes. I always like to start with the dark colors because when you use the dark colors first, you don't have to worry about them not being able to get it dark enough. So we're gonna start with dark and I like a wedge, little wedgie brush here. This is actually a large wedgie brush, wedge brush if you must. All right, so we're gonna, we're just gonna do this thing, right? I'm gonna go right into my Nubian. Got my old lady mirror, I'm ready. All right, so first we're just going to, what she got going there? All right, so you can see on her, she's got, this is a good shape eye for me too, because her eyes are similar shape to mine. She's got kind of her, we call it, it's a parallelogram, right? So um, it's like, basically like if you took a rectangle and turned it sideways and it would go basically right down like that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I like to start, let me do that. I like to start in this corner because you always, almost always want it darkest anyway, and then move this way. So get that guy done. Now I just do this like down and dirty and then we fix it later. You don't have to be all like perfect, right? And so then she is, she's got her makeup up in here. So you see how this is actually like, I'm making a square really. You see that? How it's like square, right? All right, now she didn't do the bottom at all. So we're not gonna do the bottom at all either because we're matching this up to the way she does it. Let me just fix that up a little bit. Okay, so then she appears to have some, we're gonna use, let me find the right brush here. What do I wanna use? I'm gonna use this little guy here. And this is just, um, it's just a little bit rounded and pointy at the tip, but mostly it's just kind of your, your basic little brush, it's a blending brush. So I'm gonna use this in our porcelain, and then we're gonna take the porcelain out of our Stark Naked palette, and we're just gonna blend. And to blend, we're gonna do little circles. We're gonna go all the way around that just to blend it. With our porcelain. Porcelain's such a great blender. There we go. I think that's pretty good. And then we're going to grab our Ivory Glow. Is that Ivory Glow? Yes, Ivory Glow. And we're gonna do just right up under your brow bone. And it's okay if you get a little on your brow bone because we're gonna we're gonna put some of the works on that anyway. 
So right up under there. Perfect. And then she definitely has some highlight through here, so we'll do that with our ivory glow also. There we go. All right. Now I'm noticing on hers, her whole eyelid is almost black. So I'm going to get my little brushy cleaning thingy here. Take that off of there. All right. So I have a different brush. There we go. This one, which is a very similar brush. You can see they're very close. This one is just a little thinner and a little pointier. So this will be good for doing the lid. So I'm going to go into the coal in our flat earth and I'm going to go and I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do across my whole eyelid here and I'm going to start in this corner because we want the outer corner darkest. There we go. So we're going to get a nice dark corner there. So it's, it's almost like a, um, almost a smoky eye, but not quite because we're only doing the top part. Oh, look, I got makeup on my cheek. We'll just get that off there. There we go. Fingers are tools. Okay. So now we're going to go out the rest of the way and we're going to blend that into this corner. So I'd say we go about three quarters of the way. Mind you, I'm just copying whatever she did or what it looks like she did to me. Fill that little guy in there and blend. And then we'll take a little bit more brushy cleany thingy, get that guy going. And we're going to take a little bit more of our Nubian and just blend those together there on the edge. And you can do the little circles just to get that nice and blended together. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Let me see. Yes, I think that is a good base for the eyeball. All right. So now we are going to do our, where is it? I had every, I know it's, oh, there it is. It was right behind my flat earth. So we're going to use our toy blah and we're going to use the works. And this one is black. I'm going to do our eyebrow. Okay, let's see where did it go? There it is. Is that the one? No, that one, no. This one. All right, I'm gonna use our little brush that comes with the works. It's got a little guy at the other end. A little spoolie, those are called spoolies, which is a cute name. All righty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna do our eyebrow. So you can see her eyebrow isn't super dark. Um, I have darker hair than her by nature though. So I'm gonna do so, and hers are a little heavier underneath. I don't know that it matters so much that we exactly mimic that way she did her eyebrow, but you know, why not? Oh, I got way too much on there. Brush a cleaning thingy. Okay. So now we're going to go. Yeah. You know what you guys with the works, you don't want to go crazy. It is so pigmented. All right. So I like to do this line across the bottom first, like pick the line that I want to make and just go straight across the bottom there. Oh, and while we're at it, let's take this guy. So you should always figure out where did you want your eyebrow to end. So how you figure that out is you make a line with one of your tools, any tools fine, from your lip to the corner of your nose, to the outside of your eyebrow. Lip, nose, I mean, I'm sorry, eye, eyeball. Lip, nose, eye. So that means that my eye brow should end there. So that little dot is where I'm gonna end my eyebrow. That way you know you're in the right spot. All right, just teeniest little touch of that. All right, so then we make our line here where we want it. And then I like to do this line too, right down the middle of it, right to that spot that I marked. Oops, I missed a little, that's all right. You can always fix it. And like I said, you don't wanna to use too much of the works at once. It's better to just do a little at a time. And then fill in. It's funny just doing one side of my face, huh? We just fill in where we want everything. And then once I don't have very, oh, that was not the moment. See, see what I said? Don't put too much on there. Cause look how dark that can be. If you put, if you just, I just touch it. Cause my hair doesn't have a lot of actual like color color to it. So black works really well on me, but you know, I don't want my eyebrows to be dark black. Cause that's silly. I'd look like I had a eyebrow helmet on or something weird. Is that a thing? An eyebrow helmet? All right. So anyway, now I'm going to go up in little strokes now that I don't have much on the brush because I don't want to get all crazy. And then when there's not too much on the brush, I do the top also. But you can see it's just, you know, there's still, there's still plenty on there, but you have some time to work with it. But once it's dry, it's dry and it is very, very smudge proof and waterproof. So you want to make sure you don't, you get it where you want it when you can. All right. 
I feel like that looks pretty good. Let me see. Maybe a little bit more like right up. There. I feel pretty good about that. All right. And then I'm also going to do just a little bit on my, I'm going to do actually my, my eyeliner with this. And I'm going to go over it with my magnetic liner. So do you guys remember? So we talked about one great way to do a cat eye is to, you could use tape. I'm going to freehand it, but it's still going to be in the same spot. So you want it to be on that same line, that line we just made. This is the exact same line that your eyeliner goes on, right? So this line between here and here, that's, that's the line that you want to use to follow for your cat eye. And so once you know this spot, it's really easy. You don't have to guess where to put your cat eye. You just go in between the two. So I've decided I'm going to have my cat eye go up. That's how hers looks like it goes about halfway. So I'm going to draw that guy up about, uh, yeah, about like that, maybe a third of the way towards my eyebrow. And then to make the cat eye, what you do is then you make a straight line from where you just ended to right in the middle of your, where your eyeball meets when you're looking forward. So for me, that's going to be like right here. All right. So straight line, just straight across. This is way easier than people give it credit for. And you can, you know, don't stretch your skin too hard because that's not good for it. But you'll, you know, if you're not 20 years old, you're going to have to stretch a little bit. We got some wrinkles. It's all right. It's perfectly fine. All right. So stretch that little guy out. All right. So we'll get our little cat eye going because you don't want to make a cat eye with your magnetic liner. It's, it's, that's just a lot of liner. There we go. We have our little cat eye. And then what we do is we go from our inner corner to the middle. You want to taper it just a little in the inner corner and then taper it a little thicker till you meet that line. And then you'll see there's a little dent where the two meet, fill that in straight across. And there we go. We have a cat eye. Should be a perfect cat eye. Then this is very important. We also want to do, so in this picture, you can see Carrie did both sides of her eye, but we're going to do the other one and we're just going to do the top. However, what you really need to do is your tight line. Cause if you don't do your tight line, what happens is when you get your lashes on, especially with something like as dramatic as this, you're going to see a little bit of the skin under your eyes. Like the, wait, how do I show you that? Like, like the skin under there and that little tiny bit of white kind of ruins the whole, Oh, I have an eyelash in my eyes. Like what is happening? Let me get that out of there. Uh Oh, all right. I got it. Okay. So what you're going to do is to do your tight line, your upper one's the tight line. It's like your water line, but it's the top one. You want to very gently pull this up and do just over your, just under your eyelashes, just under. Don't get crazy. Don't put it away in your eye, but this covers up that, that little bit of skin there. And it makes a really big difference when you're looking for like drama. All right. And then we're going to make this like nice and smooth there. Perfect. Or at least I think it's great. All right. So put this little guy away and then put the ah, lids, put the lid on it. Always put the lid on near the works. Like obviously these kinds of things can dry out. So make sure you put the lid on. I'm going to do just a little bit of mascara. I'm going to put lashes on, of course, but just to blend them in. So we got our siren here and I'm just doing a quick little coat and I'm not going to do the bottom because she didn't do the bottom. And I think maybe that kind of adds to like the ethereal, you know, otherworldly look of it. Okay. So just a little, all right. Got that guy done. Okay. So now then I don't think I got any, no, there's no makeup. Our makeups really don't like, they don't flake and they don't like fall down much. So, um, I don't usually have much to, to try to get off afterwards. If any, like I don't have any today, but you know, if you're doing a look, that's like, you know, darker and more fun stuff like that, that could happen really easily. So it is not at all a bad idea to have something handy so that, you know, like a, makeup wipe or whatever, just in case you get some makeup under your eyes. And then that's the reason why we do our foundation after we do it usually, because that way you can clean that up and then put foundation on. Because if you try to, if you put your foundation on first, and then you try to take it back off and put it back on. If you've got makeup on it, that's really going to kind of make a mess. It takes extra time and it's very difficult to make it blend again. So it's best to do your eyeshadow 
first. So little tip there. All right, so let me see. We have our Stark Naked here, and I feel like hers has hers is warmer around kind of the transition, the edge. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of which color bronze. I'm gonna add a bit of the bronze, which is this one here, just in that transition, just because I feel like I feel like ours isn't quite as warm as hers. And you can always, this is a good example of you can always just go back, you know, add a little something. These blend in really. Oh, see, now there we go. Now I'm feeling it. Right? I felt like it needed a little warmth right there. There we go. Now we have a little bit of warmth. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to put our Stark Naked somewhere off to the side right there for a few minutes. And I think we are done with our Flat Earth. So put that over there. Okay, I think we're done with for a bit. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is our foundation. And you guys um, have been asking me and asking me what kind of foundation I wear. And I always say it's ours, but I can't show you. Well, today I can show you. So this is a really great day and I'm really, really so excited because today we are going to launch one of our foundations. We will have um, three different types and this is the first one. So the first one that we are launching, it is made in Italy. It is an absolutely amazing foundation and it is a wet dry powder foundation. And I love this stuff so much. It is full coverage, medium to full coverage. And this is one of the reasons I love it is because you can use a wet dry foundation in so many different ways. You can just use it as powder. You can use it as a powder foundation. You can use it as a liquid foundation. You can make it buildable. I mean, it does everything and this is by far the highest quality that we could find in the world and then we made changes to it to make it even better than that so i'm really really excited about this you guys and here it is so this is called element powder foundation it is wet dry and the reason we called it element let me let me what color is this one is this the 140 let's see it comes the colors yes this is 140 shade 140 it comes in eight different colors and i'll tell you about that in a second so it comes all these different colors and the cool thing about this also is it is blendable with the other colors so although there are eight colors there's really like infinite colors well it's not really infinite you know because eight and all but still many 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 colors that you can make by blending them together all right so it comes in what's called a clamshell it comes like this like in a little plastic clamshell it's like a little gem case clamshell but what we do, because we knew we wanted to be able to make everything just like the Stark Naked palette and our other palettes coming up, we knew we wanted to make everything be able to be changed. And so what we did was we packaged them separately. So you will get both. You get the awesome palette. Isn't this beautiful, by the way, you guys? Like, do you see the really, really pretty black on black? How beautiful that is, the gold Tory Bell. So this is our new packaging. Isn't it beautiful with our monogram? And then you open it up like this and so what you can do is what you do do is you take this guy out have its clamshell and these guys are tight because of course we don't want them moving around and shipping so one thing i want to tell you is um they're not sold separately right now but in the future you'll be able to buy refills and when that happens you're not going to want to keep it in the clamshell because opening and closing clamshell it's it's hard they're meant to protect it but if you were to do that over and over again you'd probably end up just breaking it so anyway it's magnetic see it just pops right in there voila gorgeous so this particular color so here's another cool thing about this so this particular color 140 is the color that i use as a bronzer so these are not just foundations they are foundations and bronzers and contours and so the idea is that you get one two or three of them and you can use them different times a year by blending them you can use them alone you can use them for different purposes much like our stark naked palette it's multi multi-use and so we love these so much so what we're going to do is i'm going to grab where did it go there well oh, where is it i somewhere in very near me where is it i had my my own personal one. Oh, there it is I had my little sponge sitting on top of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is so for this part, I'm going to take this little sponge. Um, you can use anything you want these. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge, you can use a pad, you can use like a big fluffy guy like this. Like you can use anything you want. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to, I have a little bowl of water since I'm not near my sink. Voila, very, very classy, right? My little bowl, my 
paper bowl of water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how this works wet. And so I've got this little brand new sponge here and I just got little ones to show you with. So what we're going to do is we just get it wet and you put a little bit of water in there. Voila. This has amazing coverage. Of course, I'm only going to do part of my face because we're going to do the rest elsewise. So here we go. You ready? How awesome is that? One little swath. So you guys are always like, what foundation are you wearing? This. This is what I'm wearing most of the time. A lot of times I don't even use it wet. I just wear this dry. We also have some other foundations coming out soon that you guys will really love. But this is what I wear the most. All right, so I'm going to just do a quick, let's see how much of her face is showing. Just like, just above there, her nose. This is like the coolest, quickest, buildable, amazing, amazing powder foundation. Covers up everything. Love it. It has vitamin E in it, which is great because it's actually moisturizing instead of drying. It is very, very pigmented, as you can see. And one of the reasons it's really pigmented is because it has these like little special microspheres in it. And the microspheres, um, they dissolve more rapidly. And so you get really, really high coverage. And the reason we call it elements, in case you're wondering, is because all of our new foundations, one, they have minerals in them. So they're, they're literally of the earth, but it's not just earth. They're light as air. And the ones that, you know, obviously it's both liquid <laughs> and not. So it's like water and air and minerals. And we just felt like it's like the perfect, perfect combination of like just everything. And so we called it elements because it is a perfect combination of all of the elements. Okay, so I'm just like speedily putting this on because it is really super easy. You guys can see like all the texture of my face is just magically disappearing, which I love. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, it is really nice that it's moisturizing too because a lot of times powders aren't and it is matte, which is cool because I don't know about, you know, everybody's different, but for me, my own skin, I get very um, uh, greasy especially like on my T-zone and my nose, my nose and my forehead. That's like the bad spots. And of course, you know, just like any foundation, you just do it like anything else. You just got to put it in there, a little tap, tap, tap to blend. There we go. All right. And there we are. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this little guy down over there and I'm going to grab regular powder puff. And I'm going to show you guys, like it has, like you can just see on the powder puff, it's a lot of cover. And then dry, you can add to it, dry, for another level of coverage. I hope you guys can see the, the big difference between one side and the other, because in real life, it is really obvious. And most of the time, this is all I do every morning, is I just use it dry. I'm a big fan. I've always loved a good powder um, foundation, and I love when you can make them wet dry. So, that's, you know, obviously why we went this particular direction. So there we go. Now then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our 140. Remember, I showed you the bronzer color. And I'm gonna put this on a brush. I'm gonna go with the big brush, the big guy. All right, now, so she's definitely got a little bronzer through here. So we're gonna do that. Just put that on there, just like that. This is like the handiest stuff on the planet. So that's my like bronzer color. And then I'm also going to contour. So we're gonna open another one, this guy here. And this color is 180. Damn. I love these boxes, by the way, they're so pretty. Gold, no. Okay, this guy. I don't have a second. So this particular color is 180. This is our darkest color. We have colors for. We've tested this on many, many, many people, and we have colors for everybody. Open this. I do not have a clamshell for this right now, so I'm just going to keep it in here. But here we go. You kind of see it better if I hold it closer. All right, so I'm going to take my contour brush, bam, and we're going to contour. So here we 
we go. I was like, I did it really lightly because I was like, how much color am I going to get right now? Okay, here we go. Such a pretty contour color. Isn't that awesome? A bit more there, a little bit right here. And oh, I'm not going to do under here though, because that's going to be white. You know, just because of the whole thing we've got going on here. Okay, and also I have kind of a broad nose, so I'm going to do this little guy right there. There you go. Perfect. Alrighty. How amazing is that? I'm so excited, you guys. So cool. Okay, so let's look at a couple of things. One, we have a cool video. So I'm just going to show us the video. Introducing Element Foundation. Eight highly pigmented shades enriched with vitamin E for ageless, flawless skin. Choose your coverage with five ways to apply, wet or dry, light and blendable, as a foundation, contour, or highlight. What's your element? Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, I love it so much. I'm so excited, you have no idea. All right, so here's what I wanna show you also. First, I wanna show you um, just a picture of all the colors. So Eddie, go ahead and show them that and I'll just talk over it. So there's the eight different colors. So it goes from 110 to 180. Oh, can we get, yep, oh, he's gonna fix it. He's taking it, there we go. Okay, so, and we are gonna, don't worry, there'll be a chart on the website to help you guys pick. Um, so if you are fair skinned, you're a 110, very fair skinned. And if you're very dark skinned, you're a 180. And in between, we have um, a lot of, so like every two colors, one is um, more olive and the other is a, more of a pink tone. And um, don't worry, there's gonna be a chart, but the coolest thing about it is that they're all mixable. You can, you can just do them two with a brush, you can make any color in the world. So what I suggest and what I think is the best thing to do is to get the color that is your lightest color of the year and the color that is your darkest color of the year or a couple shades darker. So that way, all year long, you have your bronzer, you have your contour, and you can blend throughout the year. So midwinter, maybe you're just a 110 and maybe you're a 150, 160 at your darkest in the summer. And then throughout the year, you have everything you need. So that is, I think, the best plan. And then let's see the arms. So we took pictures of the foundation. This is gonna be on the website on three different colors of arms. And so we have somebody who's very fair and you can see that that person's about a 120. And then we have somebody with a much more medium skin tone who's probably more like a 160. And then we have somebody with a much darker skin tone who's probably, you know, like a 170. And that way you can gauge how dark you think you need to go and we'll have more charts too. So I just wanna make sure you guys know we have colors for absolutely everybody. And we'll make sure that you guys can figure out how to pick them. Right now, the best way to pick them is to look on, when you're on the website, look at all the colors and look at this arm chart because that really, for me, was like the easiest way to pick. Cause I, you know, we all know who, what, what we look like when you see a comp something, you know, that is com comparable to it. So I hope that helps. And we're going to add some more charts and some questionnaires and stuff to make it easier for everybody too in the coming next few days. So exciting. Okay. So let's do the rest of this look. All right. So I'm going to add my eyeliner right now. And I'm going to go with the classic mostly because it's sitting the closest to me and I'm going to do that. And then after I do that, while it's drying, we'll do a couple coats and then I'm going to do um, the white part. All right. Are you guys so excited? I'm so excited. Okay. Calming down. I'm just so excited. I am so excited. I got to tell you guys, huh, finally, it's been forever. We've been working on this for so long. You have no idea because, you know, you remember Italy shut down the whole country. As a matter of fact, they shut back down and we managed to, you know, at least get stuff done in the middle there. But it, we had a very long time in the middle where we had we were planning um, production and then couldn't do anything at all. Not even like packaging. It was terrible. So that, oops, I missed. Well, that's okay. Well, that's what hands are for, right? Fingers, they're tools. There we go, all better. All right, so let that guy dry. Okay, so this is a part that I'm not real good at. Pancake makeup. This is not my forte. I, well, I should have Jason in here helping me is what I should do. Let's just do it. So I got a clean little spongy guy and I'm gonna use the flat side, I think. We'll see how it goes. And I don't know if this is any good or not. I have no idea. We're just going to try. I don't know that I need to be Blanche White, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of pick a shape and go around my face. So here we go. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Hey, that's fine. All right. So like this. 
Nice thing about this is um, the little grays on the corner of my hair. It's gonna it's gonna look like I did that on purpose. So that's handy. All right, and then how was she? She's like right under her lip. There we go. I have no idea this stuff is actually gonna like dry. Like what's gonna happen? We're gonna find out though. And I'm kind of just being craggly about it because I definitely know I want to go right down the middle of my nose. This I understand. Hmm. It's a new look for me. Okay. And we're just, I'm going for it. I'm doing it. Here we go. So you guys, when you're putting on any kind of a cream foundation, by the way, you really want to push it into your pores. I know that doesn't sound like the world's best idea, but for coverage, it's the way to go. And then after you get it all pushed in, then you can do this kind of dabbing motion to get rid of any um, marks. So when you're doing your Halloween makeup, by the way, you got to do your neck. Nothing looks sillier than having a Halloween face and the whole rest of you does not match. Or foundation in general. Or foundation in general also, yes. Please go down your neck at least a little ways. I have been given the go ahead. I am appropriately half white. All right, so now... Now we're really in the like new territory. Okay, I'm gonna do one more coat of this while we're, one more coat of my classic liner while I'm sitting here. I don't know if this stuff's supposed to dry at all. I mean, it's just like, you know, Target stuff. Cheapy makeup. Because, you know, of course it's Halloween makeup. I didn't go out and buy like actual makeup from a film store or anything. We have a place here, it's called, um, oh God, what's it called? Uh, costume and, so costume and supply yeah costume and supply and they have all the coolest stuff but um you know i was like well okay we're just gonna do this like old school we're just gonna like literally go to the target and get some halloween makeup and just do it okay now then let's go with where is it there we go we're gonna go back to our black and we're gonna get out our same little actually i'm gonna use this brush so this is like it's I don't even know. It's like a flat brush, almost like you would use. It's a flat brush like you would normally use if you were doing um, like this way there. If you were doing um, like lip, but it's a little wider. It's kind of a mystery brush to me. It's It's got, it's almost an eyeliner brush. It's almost a lip brush. It's almost a foundation brush, but it's got like elements of all of them. I don't know where I got it. It's handy little guy for this. I mean, it's not something I would normally use. But I'm like, well, that looks like a good idea for this, though, because I feel like it's nice and flat for making the contours of this. So I think the first thing to do, looks logical, is just to trace the, you know, outside edge. So here we go. And it definitely does not need to be, so we're using the works, and it definitely doesn't need to be, like, super perfect, of course, because it's rock, right? So just kind of some edginess. This is fun. A little bit more. Then we can ask more questions if you want. What is the shelf life of the foundation once it's open? How long will it last? Uh, 12 months, just like okay. all our other stuff. And for wearability, is it long lasting foundation? It is very open? long lasting. Does it include SPF? It, it has a natural SPF because it has mineral. It's a mineral foundation. So it has a natural SPF, but it doesn't have like a chemical SPF or any rated SPF. How heavy or light does it feel? It You cannot feel it. You cannot feel it at all. It is like light as air, literally light as air, which is one of the reasons we call it elements. What shade are you wearing on your non-white part of your face? Right now on my non-white part of my face, I'm wearing 120. And normally I would wear both 120 and 130 together. Um, but one, it's winter. And two, because I was doing this look, I actually went a little bit lighter than my normal skin. Is it good for oily skin? It's so good for oily skin, you guys. My skin is naturally really oily. And so that was one of the big things that I was like, I just hate being oily all the time. So yeah, very good. All right, so now I'm going to, I'm looking at this young lady here, both of them, and I'm seeing that it kind of fades out some of the dark parts. There's a little bit of shadowing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. So let's go under here. So she's kind of got it like, like right here. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the black in and then I'm going to take a, a dryer brush and just like shade it out a little bit. So now I'm just, right now I'm just going to do the veins, right? I feel like that makes good sense. I'm like staring at this girl. Now she doesn't have a lot down her neck, but I 
feel like I should do a little bit more because I have the shirt on, right? And my shirt's got a lot going on. So I'm just like going for this thing, right? It's like, I'm just doing it. There, marble. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe this guy off on my brush of cleaning thingy and I'm just gonna use it dry or tidied up to blend in more, so. Oh yeah, this is working. I'm feeling good about it. We have blending. That's working. Okay, so her just kind of goes down like, like this. And you want to, you know, if you think about marble, it's not, some of it's very straight and others is more blendy blendy. So, let's see. I'm staring at her. Okay, so maybe more like here. This looks like a good blendy spot. Okay, what do you guys think? What do you think, Eddie? It took a while, but not with it. Yeah, not too bad. It looks like a thing. Maybe like, I feel like this needs to be like a little bit more like blendy outy here. What do you think? Like I, I'm doing it and saying, what do you think? It's like, uh, I hope you like it because it's happening. Yes, no, maybe. A little bit in the neck, I guess. Cause that'd be kind of weird. If it had nothing that matched. I can see definitely why you'd want to have, you know, some, you know, differences. Cause like real marble is definitely not just all the same. I feel like that helps. Do it look like my shirt? Yes. Okay, that's important. And then one thing I know just from art school is that anything that really goes in should be really black. So we're gonna go back in here and just add a little bit of low light to where the cracks are because that would be deep, right? All right, I'm going with that. You feel good about it? They feel good about it. All righty, now then, clean this little guy off. That was fun and exciting. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some eyelashes, which are right here. I figured we'd go with one selfie. Okay, open this guy up. We got our liner on, it's dry. Obviously I'll need to trim it a little bit. This guy is like that, my eye. Ooh, wait. Wrong eye. It's so funny when you're only doing one eye. All right, let me flip this guy over and see. Oh, okay. For some of them, kind of seeing the whole thing. Okay. Trim this down a little bit. I would. I usually cut two off because I'm not a very big human when it. And I just cannot stand to have um, stuff close to my inner eye. That just drives me. I don't care what it is. It drives me nuts. And so. I usually have my lashes come out a little bit further than probably most people do, but gosh, that just drives me batty. All right. Get that selfie on there. That definitely adds to look. And then we definitely need this guy. Oh, you know what we need first though? We need to go back to our um, Stark Naked palette and you see how her cheek, she has like the highlighter and then the blush. We definitely need that where is it? There it is. So we're gonna do our Stark Naked palette. I'm gonna do the blush first, then the highlighter. So this is just my like janky old blush I've had forever that I use all the time. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna go with this guy. And it looks like, yep, she just did like really right on that bone there. being careful not to get it on the white part. And that looks pretty good. It could probably use a little bit more of the pinky pink. There we go. And then brush it cleany. And we're gonna go into our Stark Naked palette. There we go. Ivory Glow, right there. We're gonna use this guy as our highlight because it's super handy for that. There we go. A little bit more. Okay. And the Pièce de Resistance, Tori Bell Red. I feel like the red really makes it when I'm looking at her picture. I also feel like I need a little bit more black black right on some of these edges just to really darken it up.
I'm so excited that I found this sweatshirt, by the way, you guys. When I was planning on doing this, I was like, oh, I need something that like looks like the outfit. I was so excited. Amazon, you know how it is. Okay. She has bigger lips than me. I can fake it though. You know I mean? It's Halloween, right? Go big or go home. There we go. So am I, am I doing it? Is it a thing? What do we think? Yes, mm -hmm. I did it. Okay, awesome. I do feel like I need to add a little bit more black right like through here. Just a, just a smidgey. Smidge. It is all. Yeah, that's true. So with the launch of the foundation, will the brushy cleaning thingy be coming back? Yes, when we get more in, we will have the brushy cleaning thingy back. Definitely. And I definitely need more black right here. Okay, there. You do it. Oh, wait, right here. Okay, I think I did it. Do you guys like it? Looks good. Is it good? Yay, we did it. That's